story. Um, and we had the pleasure of singing that as a surprise at the uh, Toronto Jewish Film Festival. The choir was actually sitting in the audience during one of the films. And when uh, the chair of the organization of the festival, um, Helen Zuckerman, was speaking and she said the word tonight, the choir stood up in the middle of the audience and started singing and um, it was really, really funny and very effective. So we tried to replicate that for you today, but um, you know, we were, you, <laughs> you knew you were going to be coming to the episode. Well, no, not quite as spontaneous, but... Um, Where are we? One voice. One voice. <laughs> this song has become an anthem of our choir. It's called One Voice. It's a folk song written by some current Canadian folk singers of the uh, Whalen Jennies. And it's all in English. They're Canadian, aren't they? I don't know. I think they are. They are. <laughs> And it's just a wonderful song. And the message, again, it's one of those universal messages that just gets to you, gets up in, under your skin and in your heart about the power of all voices, about an individual voice, and then joining your individual voice with the collective voices, and to do good in the world for tikkun olam, and also to make a beautiful sound in a choir. We strive every week to make a unified sound. And um, I'll show you our unified sound. Hang on. So that's how we start out every rehearsal, and usually it's not that good at the beginning. <laughs> and we just strive to see how we can make it sound not like, you know, 45, 50 individual men and women, younger, younger and a lot of young people but all one into one singular sound. So this song is One Voice, and I do want to thank Rhonda Venables, our wonderful accompanist, who had a lot of music thrown at her at quite the last minute, and we're so appreciative that she's here with us. Thank you. 